Salutations and fist bumps, folks. Welcome back to the grid. And man, do we have a lot to talk about in this one because you've already seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. Dr. Doom is coming and he's coming soon. So currently right now it's being confirmed or being speculated and reported that Dr. Doom is going to show up and there's evidence that he's going to show up inside of Wakanda forever. Now, if this happened, there's a theory that I brought about on this channel a little while ago, if you wanna go and check that out in a different video, but to sum it all up, Dr. Doom in Wakanda Forever could definitely be a tipping point or a cursor to Doom War being the main driver for this story. And if you've never read Doom War before, here's a quick synopsis. Basically, everything goes awry because of the fact that Dr. Doom wants all the vibranium for himself. He also goes in and puts Storm on trial and all that kind of stuff. But all that aside, the main thing is Dr. Doom wants all the vibranium so he can power his entire Doom War bots or his entire army of Doom bots, basically. That's the gist of it. If you want to go ahead and read it, I would advise you to do so because you probably need to. Based on recent comments from, from Tanakh Hereta, well, you can read it himself. Well, basically what he said is, so basically what he said is, Latin Americans have always been portrayed as villains in any movie, and that's actually pretty true. But in this movie, it's more of a anti-hero. And if that's the case, again, going back to the arc of Doom War, inside of Doom War, everything is happening inside of Wakanda or the battle between Namor or, or the... Uh, people of um, the people of Atlantis are going up against. So he says that Latin Americans are basically usually always pictured as villains. And that's actually pretty spot on because in most movies, it, that is usually true. But in this movie, he says that Latin Americans are portrayed as anti-heroes. And if that's the case, possibly that means that the attack on Wakanda is not necessarily something that Namor is doing of his own volition, but something that is a catalyst or something else is a catalyst for that happening. So if that does play out inside the movie, again, we have to go and see it to actually find out. But if that does play out inside of this movie, there are way more implications on Secret Wars than or everything inside of the MCU at this point. If that is the case with Doom War being the looming situation across the entire MCU, my guy, my friend, fam, that is going to literally turn everything inside the MCU upside down, at least for the time being with short term until something else drastic happens inside of Ant-Man quantum mania specifically, most likely all of that said, this is going to be a ride to say the least. Because if Dr. Doom is anywhere near Wakanda at any point in time, and specifically, especially now that there's no T'Challa and Shuri is almost practically confirmed as being the next Black Panther, that is the literal setup for Doom War. And if it plays out that way on screen, I'm going to lose my mind. And then if you want to see how bad or crazy or weird that actually looks, feel free to follow me on Instagram. You can see all that crazy stuff that I do when I see new news that comes out from Marvel. Because literally every time it happens, I always find myself running across the room inside of my house. I can't help it. But anyway, I digress. Do you think... This is the actual arc that we're going to get inside of Wakanda forever. Again, there's no, at least for me, there's no other pointing or compass for this story without a T'Challa. Again, I understand how everybody feels about the whole cast T'Challa stuff. I get it. I understand it. Trust me, I get it. But without having, we, we, 
there's no there's no reason in crying about something that is not going to happen at this point. I'm just going to say it. So without having T'Challa in this movie, the next logical step for the storyline to actually progress would be Doom War because it's literally the way that a lot of different characters are given to us that could happen or could serve very well i should say for this movie specifically because you got deadpool x-men pretty much all of them uncanny x-men specifically you got fantastic four obviously doom dr doom and everybody like there's a literal laundry list of characters that could show up inside that that do show up inside of doom war and if that is the case based on all of the stuff that has dropped up until this point with Deadpool now being Deadpool now being in the MCU with Deadpool 3 Wolverine being reprised by Hugh Jackman again all of these things just make me believe that this is more and more confirmation that Doom War is the driving force of Wakanda forever let me know how you feel in the comments if you like the thought of this being the driving force of this movie, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it and spread this across YouTube like nobody's business. But if you don't, let's have a discussion. <laughs> go ahead and leave that down in the comment section and uh, I'll respond to everything as soon as I see it, as much as I possibly can, as fast as I can. So we can have this discussion in real time if possible. So please let me know how you feel down in the comments. Hit this button, hit the like button if you like this video. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Blurt out.